can't actually believe it's 2020. It sounds so weird, but happy new year, everybody. I hope you celebrated well. I hope there's not too many hangovers out there. I was actually designated driver for new years. I didn't drink at all, but the perk is you wake up fresh, no hangover at all. Today I'm back with another video, so let's go on a bit of a walk. Try and make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going. On. So, freelancing. In September, I made this video. Also, the fact that if I don't do well here, if I can't make an income of video, making videos for other people and making these kind of videos, I'm gonna be back at another job doing the same old stuff I was doing before. And I don't want that. So I quit my job. And since then, I've been completely freelance, doing work for myself, and that is it. I haven't been working for anyone else since September. Since I made that video, I've had a couple of questions on Instagram and a few other places in the comments and stuff about how it's been going. So today I'm making a video on the truth about freelancing and how it is, because I see a lot of questions about it. And before I started, I had a lot of questions about it. And it can be quite hard to find out what it's actually like, because a lot of people don't actually like to admit to the truth that, oh, it's not going very well, or, oh, it's not like this, it's not like that. Well, that's what I'm gonna tell you today. And in the four months that I've been freelancing, I've kind of seen like three opinions on it. One, you can work whenever you want. Two, you can travel wherever you want. And three, you can work less hours. Uh, and they're not really true, to be honest. <laughs> Obviously, in the future, that is the aim, that is the goal, to work when you want to, to work less hours, and to travel a lot whilst you do your job, right? But for the vast majority of you just starting out, that is not gonna be the reality. It is hard at the start. You have to work way, way, way more hours than you would at your standard job. I work a lot of weekends, I work in the evenings, I hopefully get up early and work. Um, it's also been really hard for me to travel at the start of freelancing because there's so much to do. And whilst you can do work whilst you're traveling, you're never gonna get as much done on a tiny laptop compared to having a proper PC with more power, you can edit faster, and you can just do more work and contact more people. So that's why at the start, I haven't been able to travel as much. I have to work so many more hours, like some, some days I've been working till 4 a.m. because I've been working with American clients because I can't be too fussy with who I work with as I'm just starting out. You have to kind of take what you're given. When you're working till 4 a.m., it takes a lot of determination. And for me, that's been the hardest thing. So you have to build your brand, you have to make content, you have to contact people, you have to email people, you have to make the videos, content on LinkedIn now I'm doing as well. So I'm doing so much more work. And to keep the discipline that I keep myself accountable to that because there's no manager, because there's no boss, there's no manager that is gonna tell me, oi, why aren't you doing that? If I don't do it, no one's gonna care except from the client, but most of the work I'm doing on a daily basis isn't client-based, it's content-based, and strategy and planning to get those clients in. So the only person holding me accountable is myself. And that has been the hardest thing, is just making sure that I'm doing what I should be doing. It's been so hard. <laughs> and going on from that, another thing that I really, really struggle with is the motivation and not actually having the motivation because a lot of days I do have the motivation to do it and I can get it done, it's fine. But my motivation dips a lot. Like one day I can be up like, yes, I can take on the world, I can smash it, I've got, the, uh, I can get in the clients, I can edit all these videos, I can get up early, it's gonna be fine. But then like the next day, I'm just like, why am I doing this? I'm never gonna get any clients. I'm never gonna be able to edit videos for people. 
why would people want to employ me? And you feel really down on those days. And it's finding the consistency between the two, which has been really hard. And for me, what I've done on those days, you just have to think about like why you're doing it, why you quit your job before, because you weren't enjoying it. Yeah, it was easy. Yeah, you got some decent money, but it wasn't enjoyable. And that's why I quit. And that's why I want to build this and go so much further. And it'll happen. It will happen. I've gone off on a detour there a bit to actually... Wow. Anyway, I've kind of gone off on a tangent there to the truth about freelancing. Yeah, but another thing that I struggle with is, like, going to bed on time. <laughs> Sounds really weird. But, like... A lot of the time I have an idea and I'll be like, yes, I need to get this done. And it's 12 a.m. and I'm like, eh, I've got nothing to get up for in the morning. So I just work later and then you get into a cycle of just being pretty nocturnal. Because you wake up at 12 and then you go to bed and then you're not tired at 12 when you need to go to bed. And so you stay up till 4 a.m. again and it's just a cycle. Wow, it's so windy. <laughs> I should have maybe filmed this somewhere less windy. I literally can't wait for it to be summer again when it's not windy, cold, there's leaves on the trees and it all looks nice to film, whereas this just looks, to be honest, a bit dead. That's why I bring Drummer out. He's a good filming buddy, get some clips of Drummer. The biggest thing I found about freelancing that is enjoyable for me is being my own boss because everything I do is working towards furthering my career and furthering what I do. So I'm passionate about everything I'm doing, even the little things, the little details. I'm passionate about doing them because they're furthering what I'm doing. Whereas uh, if I was working for someone else, I'm not as passionate about those little things because, to be honest, I don't really care. I'm just there for the money and then I'm going to go home at the end of the week. Whereas this is like bigger for me. It's more not like, it's less about the money, <laughs> much less because I'm earning way less money than I was at my old job. And I think that's what you need to consider when freelancing. Do you have the passion to be able to motivate yourself? and to be able to market your skills and use your skills in such a way to get paid. These four months have been great for me. Obviously, massively hard work, major ups and downs along the way, but generally, I think I'm going in the right direction. Going a bit further away from freelancing and talking about travel, because this is a travel channel and I do want to travel more, obviously. I want to travel to a lot more budget places. I think I'm going to go to a lot of places in Europe this year and 2020 is going to be the year where I travel more. So expect a lot more travel vlogs coming soon. If you did like this video, remember to comment, subscribe, like and I will see you next time for another video.